Okay, so we're uh, continuing with our advanced uh, examination questions. This one is about the Q of a parallel resonant circuit. Um, don't worry about series circuits. There aren't any questions about series circuit Q in the, uh, in the testing. And this is question 151. What is the Q of a parallel resonant circuit? Resonant frequency 7 decimal 125 megahertz. L is, or the inductor value is 12.6 microhenries, and the resistance is 22 kilo ohms. So for a parallel circuit, Q is equal to the resistance divided by the reactance of the coil, or XL. And all we have to do is find the reactance of the coil. Well, we know Q is going to be equal to the resistance 22 kilo ohms, 22 K ohms over whatever that uh, XL is. So let's figure out XL here. XL is equal to, very simple, 2 uh, pi F uh, L. Okay, so 2 pi and 2 pi is just as before 6 decimal 283 uh, times the frequency of resonance times the inductance of the coil. So in this case our inductance is let's put let's put this uh, six decimal two eight three and uh, times and frequency is seven decimal one two five megahertz and times and the inductance is 12 decimal 6 microhenries 12 whoops the paper's moving here 12 decimal 6 microhenries okay the easy thing here is and you can do you can make it a little more complicated if you want or easy depending on your viewpoint but if this is megahertz, which is six zeros, and this is microhenries, which is uh, six decimal places, micro, negative six, uh, just, div uh, just multiply seven decimal one two five times the twelve decimal six microhenries, and uh, the micro cancels out the mega. So micro is millions and mega is millions so they both cancel each other out and that will give us I'll just put an equal sign here multiply by 6.28 and that will give us our answer so let's have a look at the uh, scientific calculator here uh, trying to get the light I've used a little more light in this video right here so let's get this calculator going here so let's multiply resonant frequency uh, just make sure it's clear 7 decimal 125 times and it's 12.6 microhenries so that was megahertz that cancels the micro so times 12.6 12.6 equals all right, 89. So we got 89 decimal 775 there. And let's multiply that by by 6.283. Okay, I'm just moving this paper because the paper tends to make the calculator dark. Uh, okay, so times 6 decimal 28 three and we get five five hundred and sixty four ohms okay so we'll write that 
under here for our uh, XL. 564, 564 ohms. And we'll divide that now. I'll just clear that. I know I could I could leave it on there, but it's easier to clear it. So 22,000. 22,000. It's which is 22 kilo ohms. Uh, divided by five six four ohms equals and the Q looks like thirty nine decimal well zero 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 so and that's equal to thirty nine so that's the Q or the quality factor of that uh, of that uh, parallel circuit. And yeah, I'm looking at the answer here for question uh, 157, and the answer is in fact 39. So there you go. And some cues with different numbers, some cues will be smaller, way smaller than that, and sometimes into the decimal region. So a pretty straightforward calculation for Q. And thank you very much for watching, and good luck with the amateur uh, advanced exam.